Hey there Capricorn, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. So this is going to be your general uh, weekly reading. Any information you all need, you can find it down below. I do have personals open right now if you all are interested. Okay. Also, you could follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon if you'd like. The information is down below. Um, I do uh, post additional content for each sign over there on Patreon. Okay, so let's see what's happening here for you, Capricorn. your overall energy the knight of wands i feel like something is waking you up really quickly like the hangman is in the center of your reading and this is the after tarot so i definitely feel like there's someone or something coming in here that's waking you up rather quickly we're going to look into that and see what that is but you start off with the ace of pentacles okay so earth Taurus, virgo capricorn i feel like a seed has been planted here all right and you know the um I forget what beetle this is called here in the card, but it is a symbol of uh, resurrection, okay? So again, I definitely feel like you guys are, are waking up to something here, okay? And I feel like there's a person involved. It could be a water sign here, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Let's go ahead and look at the Ace of Pentacles. Let's go with the Ace of Pentacles here for Capricorn. Four of Swords. Yeah, see, this person is asleep here in the card, and this woman is walking towards him with a flower. Okay, so somebody's offering you something here, some kind of wisdom or new perspective, Capricorn. Um, yeah, somebody's bringing in something very valuable. All right, so you have the Death card showing up next, Scorpionic Energy. So let's look at that one. You can even see if you look up the Four of Swords um, in the windows of, above the person, up in the top left-hand corner. Um, there's, uh, there are two figures, you know, there's a, there's a, what looks like a child and what looks like an older woman there, um, and they're receiving guidance, okay, so I definitely feel like some of you guys, you could be receiving guidance from somebody who's older or has more experience in it, um, in an area than you do, okay, what's going on with the death card? Some of you, this could be like a romantic connection here where somebody's really opening your eyes to something. What's going on with the death card for Capricorn this week? Seven of Pentacles, okay? Um, some of you, there's like cleaning up, there's destruction. You could be throwing things out here, of course. With the Death card, it's something a little more major than that. So I definitely see you guys clearing out old energy or just things that are not, um, things that are taking up space, you know? Um, so I feel like you're trying to make room for the new. That's what this feels like to me. So I definitely feel like that's what that Pentacle is um, right there in the in the bottom. You know, it's, it's uh, set apart from the others. And I think that's what the Ace is over here, all right? So you have the Empress. Taurus and Libra. Let's see what's going on with this one for you, Capricorn. What's going on with the Empress? You got the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're hitting a target or you're hitting a goal this week here, Capricorn, with the Eight of Wands. It's a card of precision. Some of you could have um, Mercury and Sagittarius. Some of you could also be receiving a message here or something is manifesting in the physical for you um, with the Empress showing up. It's like you've planted seeds. Things are starting to grow here this week for some of you, okay? Uh, some of you could have been trying to manifest um, a message or an answer of some sort. So I feel like that could be coming in for others of you. You have the Moon card, Pisces energy. Could be Cancer as well. What's going on? with the moon here. What's going on with the moon? The five of wands. I feel like you guys, um, you've been resisting something here. Um, with this being the after tarot, the moon would say that things are out in the open, okay? Whatever's been hidden, it's come to the surface here. And in the five of wands, something has been defeated, okay? That can be a card of uh, competition, all right? Strife, resistance. I feel like there was something here that was trying to come to the surface or trying to, um, you were trying to let it out, you know. I feel like your soul just did not want to hold on to this and, you know, I feel like you finally surrendered and you've let something go. You've released it, so I like that for you all. Um, and I feel like there is some kind of enlightenment taking place here with the hangman, so let's look at that energy as well. What's going on with the hangman? For Capricorn. 
you got the two of cups so like i said i definitely feel like this is a really strong connection here a really strong bond so this doesn't even have to be a romantic connection it does feel that way for most of you but i feel like things could be moving rather fast somebody's definitely triggering an awakening um or a more active response okay so i almost feel like you guys there's something that maybe you've been dragging your feet on and you're finally choosing to start on that all right. Um, for others of you, again, I feel like this is you waking up to something here. Uh, you got the Three of Pentacles, Mars, and Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with that. What's going on with the Three of Pentacles? Some of you, this person could be, you know, inspiring you to go to school or to go back to school for some of you or to finish something. I feel like somebody is reminding you of who you are and what you're capable of. You've got the Page of Cups right here. All right. Some of you may have felt like something slipped away, but you're being given a second chance. Okay. Um, with the Ace of Cups being here, you're being given a second chance, okay? So there's potential to turn something around that you thought uh, was no longer there or was no longer attainable. Um, with the fish jumping out of the cup there, that's what I think this is. It's a dream or a vision that you had. Um, and some of you are going for that again. You've got the King of Pentacles right here. You're committing to it again, okay? So I like that for you all. There could be a water sign coming in who wants to build with you, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, all right? You got the Four of Pentacles next. So I feel like things start moving very quickly with whatever it is that you are building here, whatever you're doing. And I think that could also be what triggers this um, healing process here. That's how that feels with the moon and the five of wands. Um, some kind of maybe perspective that was keeping you safe that you didn't want to let go of, okay? Um, some kind of uh, false perception that you built of a person possibly. But the four of pentacles, like the that cloud that's floating over him here with the reaper, like this could be the end of what it is that you are, are building here if you, if you don't let go of that, okay? If you don't let go of whatever this is right here. What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, I feel like there's really a need to find yourself again or to see what you're capable of again without this cloud floating over top of you here. That pinnacle resting on top of his head and the four pinnacles can sometimes come with a message that somebody doesn't know how, how grand they are, okay? How valuable they are, how skilled they are, all right? And the Queen of Pentacles being here, I feel like somebody's coming in and they're reminding you of your value, okay? Got the Nine of Pentacles right here, Venus and Virgo. It's a card of luxury, enjoying the finer things in life. I also feel as if you guys are willing to take the necessary risks here okay you're willing to fight through um, certain obstacles here you know he's waking up like I said I feel like you guys are waking up to something here a lot of you it's not your first time you know there's just something here that needed to be healed um, some of you could have failed at something in the past and maybe that's why you didn't want to get up and try again so um, I feel like that's something else that's uh, taking place here you're fighting those fears what's going on with the nine of Pentacles? You know, traditionally, he's sitting up out of the bed with his hands over his eyes. He doesn't want to see what's in front of him. But I feel like that's changing this week for you guys. You've got the Two of Pentacles showing up as well. You're understanding that you're going to face obstacles in doing this, okay? You're understanding that there are going to be ups and downs. That's what the Two of Pentacles is. That's why those Two Pentacles are binding together by that infinity symbol. Because, you know, change is the only constant. And you've got that Nine of Pentacles there. Now, traditionally, she had, I forget what the glove is called that they wear with the Falcons. But it's so they're not, so their nails don't, don't get your hands. She's thrown that glove off there. The falcon is, uh, you know, flying away there in the card in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, again, this is the after tarot. I feel like you're really rolling up your sleeves here. You're sending that falcon off to uh, get the prey. Okay, so what's going on with the nine of swords? You're in major manifestation mode here. The Nine of Swords, the Emperor. Yeah, you're conquering those demons. You're conquering those fears. I feel like you're moving towards something and you're moving towards it fast, okay? Um, now, again, I feel like there are going to be some obstacles here, but I definitely feel that you're prepared for those. And I do feel like a really special connection is coming in here, or it could be already here for some of you, of course, where somebody's really showing you, reminding you of your potential. So I like that a lot for you, Capricorn. Really nice reading. So you all are more than welcome to watch out for your other signs if you'd like. But if this is where we part, I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your week. Bye.